Our first contest of the evening is six rounds scheduled in the featherweight division. Your steward in charge is Des Rees, your timekeeper is Stephen Pucci, and your referee, the man in the middle, Mark Lyson from Liverpool. Introducing first in the yellow corner, he has a record of six wins with only two defeats. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, and tonight he wears the blue and red shorts. Please welcome, from Shakar, India, Sandeep Singh Bhatti! And across the ring in the blue corner, he is unbeaten with a record of three wins and no defeats. All three wins coming by way of knockout. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled eight stone, 12 pounds, and tonight he wears the black and green shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a former five-time London amateur champion and a former ABA elite champion. Please welcome from Islington, Masood Superman Abdullah! Okay, boys, you both know the rules. I want you to obey my commands. I tell you to break, break clean. Defend yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both, boys. Masood with a fair number of supporters here at Wembley tonight. Born in Afghanistan, as you heard now, fighting out of Islington. 28 years old, and all three of his professional wins have been stoppages. He was an elite champion in 2019 and Tri Nations champion. And Carl, from his stats, I'm looking at him as a boxer for the first time, I have to confess, but from his stats and the fact that his three fights have lasted a total of less than 12 minutes, he's somebody who can certainly get the job done. Yeah, I think so, and, and I'm in the same boat as you. I haven't seen too much of him, but I, I actually know his coach, Steve Broughton, quite well, and he's a lot of high praise and, and things to say about him, so um, I suppose we'll see. We'll see in a minute here, John. Sandeep Singh Bharti. Hails from Chandigarh in India, flew in with his coach Kuldeep Singh. Fought five weeks ago when he beat Andy Tam on points in Glasgow. And indeed, he's won his last five contests, six wins and two defeats. But it's a nice, sharp start from Abdullah, trying to keep it long, working behind his left-hand lead. You can see what they're trying to do here. And what, what Barry's trying to do is just cover up, and, and it's important for from Masood to keep the distance and just keep the range. It's one thing doing that in the amateurs, John, you know, keeping the hands tight to your head and walking forward, but these small gloves, they tend to get through the punches and you can get hurt by doing that. I think, you know, it's more important to move your head a little bit. In the run up to this, Abdullah said quite simply, I'm planning to knock out whoever stands in my way. I don't hate opponents, but business is business. Well, that's decent from Batty, a couple of solid body shots. Goodness, he wound up on that one, a wry grin on his face as he just whistles through thin air. Abdullah's a graduate as well, he got a 2-1 in international business management at Greenwich University. Yeah, um, it's, it's probably easier job than boxing as well for him out there, but um, <laughs> fair, fair play to him. He's controlling things here, and you've got, you've got Barry who's just trying to tuck, tuck up, walk forward and, and land kind of winging single shots and it, it's um if it continues like this it, it should be reasonably straightforward for for masood he made his debut at a, a pub in tufnell park called the boston globe there's a guy called anthony joshua who had his first uh, amateur fight in that pub right very good a lot to live up to then <laughs> but he just landed a good body shot there's another one a good left hook there um body visibly here at ringside you can see him wince a little bit but he's still coming forward nice uppercut as well which managed to find its way through those high held gloves of Barty last few seconds of the opening round 
And a decent round it was for Masoud Abdullah. Body shots as well, um, but um, Abdullah's looking good. 28 years old, Masoud Abdullah, and he's told his promoters and told his management that he's 28, doesn't want to be hanging around. He said, I don't want to have 15 fights until I get somebody who can test me. Well, Batty is doing his best to show that he's got the sort of power in both hands, which might yet provide a bit of a test, but the greater volume of punches, as you can see, clearly coming from Masoud Abdullah. Yeah, but he's trying a little bit harder at the start of this round. He's starting to come forward a little bit more and, and letting the hands go, but again, just covering up a little bit too much. Um, needs to pop a jab out like he did there, but he's fallen, fallen very short. That's a tougher cut again. That time, I think it was at least partially blocked by Abdullah. Uh, by uh, Barty, rather. Good shot there from Abdullah. Switches attack from body to head pretty effectively. Yeah, the left hook's working well to the body. I think he should maybe just try and... And I heard Steve Broughton, his coach, saying it in the corner, just to try and disguise things a little bit more. Everything doesn't have to be powerful. Just try to open the guard up and break through and penetrate the guard there of, of body. Um, but he's, he's, he's looking good here so far. Absolutely. He just took a little right-hand reminder, a counter-punch inside. But Batty, for the most part, very much on the receiving end here. I don't think he's in any real trouble, but there will be a cumulative effect, particularly from the body shots, you would think. Batty giving it a go again. Referee Mark Lyson reminding Abdullah that you can't use the inside of the glove, the wrist, to effectively push your man back. Nice movement there, just off the ropes from Abdullah as well, just to get out of trouble. But from there, that, that jab, he needs to be just poking that jab out a little bit more. And be careful for them shots. And that's that right hand again, he's left himself open to that once or twice. And a little bit of kidology as he left his gloves low and he's jabbed to the head as well there. But the willingness and definitely the tactic of throwing all those body shots at Barty just leaves him just a wee bit open to those headshot counters. Yeah, and I, I think with, with the, the height, I suppose the height of him and, and the length of his levers, he could be throwing them from a little bit further out. He doesn't need to get that close to be landing the body shot, especially when you have an opponent who's literally tucking up and trying to wing as you punch. Um, body having not a lot of success there, but he's pushing, he's pushing Masood back. Well, Abdullah's yet to have to go into the third round in his professional career, but it looks very much as though he's going to have to here, unless he finds something sensational in these closing seconds. Another round for Abdullah. Opening fight of the night, Masood Abdullah. Here he is, unloading punches in the direction of Sandeep Singh Bhatti. There's a right-hand counter. That's the right hand. He just needs to be careful for them, doesn't he? Because he, he's thrown four or five before he gets one back from Bhatti, but when he when he throws it, he, he, he puts a lot of intent in his shots. Well, this is the furthest that Abdullah's been in his professional career so far. He's had three quick-fire victories. Not against pushovers, I might, I might add. Tarka Bembere, Peter Dotterkal, and Paul Holt, a former Midlands area champion, his three victims so far. And I like what he's saying as well, John. He doesn't want to have to you know, be 15 or 16 fights deep into his career before he fights someone of, of note. Um, so he's got, he's got ambitions, this kid. He just walked into one there. He just needs to be careful. They're boxing well. That's been a little bit of a repeated success from Batty, though. That right hand over the top, he has had a bit of success with that. Batty has never had a stoppage win, clearly not a banger, but Abdul has been caught once or twice. He just needs to keep it long, really. And I think that you can see what Batty's trying to do, just march forward with the hands high, trying to soak up shots and, and, and lunge in. But if Abdullah keeps his distance and just keeps poking that jab out rather than walking into the corner as he's doing now, trying to keep his back off the ropes, he'll have a lot more success. I know he wants to move up in class as quickly as possible, but, you know, I mean, you'd be able to tell viewers just how important it is to actually get competitive action like this rather than rounds just in the gym sparring. It's so important, and I think that this guy, this is, this is good matchmaking. Um, credit to the matchmaker whoever made this fight because... 
you've got a guy who's trying here. He's coming forward, he wants to win. And that's important for, for guys that, uh, like Masood Abdullah, who's, who's starting off in their career. You, you need people in front of you who are trying to win. There's no, there's no, there's no, no good in really just fighting guys who are, who are there to, to be beaten, really, and here for a payday. Well, Barty's trying to walk him down, trying to get into range, and you know what's going to happen when he does so. He'll be Ooh. looking for that big right hand over the top, trying to get a bit of flexibility into his legs as well. But it's pretty much one-way traffic this round from Abdullah. He's had the one success with the right hand, Batty, but it's been a fleeting moment. And for the most part, it's been Abdullah's boxing skills which have prospered. More solid body shots. I think Batty suggesting to the referee that one of them might have been low. Mark Lyson, the ref, doesn't want to know. Well, this has been more emphatic this round for Abdullah than the first two were. Yeah, I think maybe the body shots are having their, taking their toll a little bit, John, here. I'm sure the referee will want to see a few punches coming back from Batty, and there have been precious few in this third round. Abdullah, we gave the first two to him, and he's by a distance racking up the third as well. And this lad from Afghanistan in his fourth professional fight looks as though he's well set potentially for a win. Let's yeah, listen into his corner. Bit, okay? And when you when you're getting him to overcommit, that's where your gaps are, okay? Don't over, don't overcomplicate the exits. Yeah. Don't sit sit and try and fucking check out and all this. Just cut the head off the line and find the shot. Yes, or get out with the first shot, okay? Yeah. Don't fucking sit there trying to slip and roll. Just yeah. Drop him, come back with your counter once you've made him fucking fall short. Yeah. Or Get out of well, okay. sorry about some of the language in the corner, but as ever, passions are high in a boxing ring. Well, he's taken three rounds, and the last one, by distance, the most emphatic so far. Yeah, it seems that, like, like I said, I think that, that, that Barry may be feeling the effects of the body shots in the first two rounds and the third round, of course, but um, that was a, uh, his best round by far, Masood. So we're nice moving, uppercut. there's a nice uppercut, which he brought up inside once more, Masood Abdullah. Fourth round, six-round fight, and Batty, well, he will certainly want to see some success soon in this round. Nice uppercut again from Abdullah, just throw that shot well, that time from the left, from the left side. Yeah, and that's good stuff with the jab as well, making Batty fall a little bit short and countering. He's going to the body there as well. But he could be doing a little bit more at distance with the jab. He's touching it out there as a, a bit of a range finder, but he could use it as a, as a weapon and, and, and pierce it right through the guard. Difficult with that high guard, though, isn't it, to actually find a way through. I suppose, in theory, you punch through the middle, but easier said than done, maybe. Yeah, and I, and I think that's why it's important to kind of change the speed of the jab and change the power in the jab just to confuse your opponent a little bit if, he, if he's if he's waiting on it all the time he knows what they expect but if the speed and the distance and everything's changing then it, it's a little bit more difficult to read Matty again trying to really wind up with that right hand but he missed by a distance threw it from way way back and Abdullah saw it coming it's the ones you don't see which are the dangerous ones always He wants to progress through the ranks as quickly as possible, and he wants to really make a, an eye-catching debut in his first televised appearance, Abdullah. Batty showing a few more attacking intentions than in the previous round. There's that jab, just poking it out, but if he fires it in solid at times, it might have a, a bit more of an effect. Working well to the body there as well, Abdullah. The body's quite tough. He's coming forward. He's taking he's taking a fair amount of stick, and his face has been as red as it is now from the from the end of the first round. Oh, that's good variety of punches. Good variety of shots from Abdullah, and he's busting him up now. He's in a bit of trouble, and the referee's keeping a close look because Abdullah is really powering it on now. Blood oozing from Batty's nose. And there's almost a contemptuous look about Abdullah and how he's going about it. But he's flashy and he 
He is exciting. Be interesting to see what Kuldeep Singh in Bhatti's corner is going to make of this, whether or not he'll consider pulling him out, but he's been so brave, but that's another big round to Masood Abdullah. He I'm says, I'm OK. Good. Took some big shots yeah, there, though, he, he walked in a lot. The uppercut was working well for Abdullah. There was one that landed and, and some straight right hands as well, but potential broken nose there, which isn't going to be nice, especially if we're going to continue to walk into them, them uppercuts. But I think his job, if, if, he, if he just tries to keep it a little bit longer, Masood, it, it's hard to criticise him here because he's looking, he's looking very good, but I think if he makes better use of his jab, he can make things e even easier than they're going now. It'd be interesting to have a punch count, wouldn't it? Because I tell you what, he throws a lot yeah, of leather. Yeah, he does. And, uh, well, there's a little bit of a, a taunting side to him, so dominant that he's been in the last couple of rounds, prepared to stand in front of Bhatti and hold his gloves low and just invite the Indian to wail away at him and maybe drop the gloves and provide an opening. Yeah, and Buddy, Buddy was hurt at the end of that last round. He'd do, he do well to finish this round out, but he's still trying. He's in, he's in here. He's over here to win. Reasonably tough. It'd be a tremendous win if he were to turn this one around now. Hard to see, though, isn't it, John? But you never know. It's not going to happen, is it? But, I mean, there's been some... He's thrown a lot of quality body shots, Abdullah. How heavy-handed do you think he is? Um, he looks reasonably heavy-handed. Look, look at Buddy's face here. It's, it is pretty messed up, but but he's still coming forward um, and still trying. But it's hard to say, isn't it? It's hard to really say how heavy-handed someone is until the rim of an opponent who knows a little bit more. Well, some neat footwork there, turning his man. You're not allowed to throw him to the ground like that. And Mark Lyson inviting Batty to get back to his feet and may well just have a word with Abdullah about that. No, he's happy, and on it goes. Good body shot there. Referee just warning against use of the shoulder, which of course is illegal. Oh, a good shot. Big body shots thudding in under right cross, and again now Barty's in a bit of trouble. He done really well there, Masood, to get that shot off. Just as Barty was coming in the try and hold as he was hurt, Masood kept the distance and and landed a great shot. Trying that uppercut again. Had a lot of success with that, and that's done for the first time. Mark Lyson just telling Masood Abdullah about use of the shoulder. Love to find a way to force a stoppage, I'm sure, to make it four out of four in his paid outings so far. But there's a determination about Batty which suggests that he may well stay the course. I think if Abdullah maybe just goes through the gears here a little bit more, he's doing little bits of work and letting letting Batty come back and throw maybe one, two, three phase attacks. And he could find a, a few more openings. Well, that's a final warning told him twice before if it happens again Abdullah is going to be losing a point but he still bravely keeps walking forward doesn't do a lot in reverse gear does he last few seconds of the penultimate round misses again with that Big right hand, Batty, and on the receiving end to body shots and head shots in the closing seconds as Abdullah takes another on an hour. Carl, yeah. Carl, it's got to be a shutout yeah, so far. Yeah, a shutout, and it was just something he'd done there really nice. He, he, he started the attack, he waited on Batty to throw that wild shot, then he slipped it and he countered him again with another jab. That was, that was much better from, from Masood Abdullah. Not too bad that time you fought in Belfast, was, was it? That was a good one as well, yeah. Hope the weather's better this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. I, I said, I said something on air. I said, uh, we've been lucky with the weather here. It's, uh, it's staying <laughs> fine, and then it's like the end of the world about five minutes <laughs> later. So it's the last round, and a question for Batty about whether or not he can see it through. Uh, having been so brave, you kind of like to see him 
see it through to the final bell. Yeah, you would, of course, when, when he's... And, and the thing is, he has tried throughout. That he hasn't been a, a journeyman who's tucking up and just trying to see out the rounds. He's actually here to win. He's trying to win the fight. And he's still trying to win the fight, although he hasn't won 30 seconds in, in, in a round yet. But he's trying, and I like to see that. So it'll be good for him to see the final bell. Well, he came in to this contest on a roll of five straight victories, Sandeep Singh Bhatti. He's taken and absorbed an awful lot here. And Abdullah, well, it's the first time I've seen him in a professional fight, and I'm sure it'll be the first time people have seen him at home as well. And uh, OK, he's not been able to get Bhatti out of there, but that's credit to the Indian. He's thrown a terrific variety of shots. Yeah, he hit him with a, a double left hook there to the head, and then he went to the body as well. Good variety. And they're just starting to get through a little bit more. That's lovely. Body to head, and there's not a lot coming back from Bhatti. And the referee, as you can see, is looking very, very closely just to make sure that Bhatti's OK. And he said, yeah, no, call. enough is enough. It was becoming too much of a landslide. He was taking too much. Bhatti annoyed. He wanted to see it through to the final bell. But Abdullah gets another stoppage win. Yeah, it was a good win and a good call from the referee. I think that, that uh, Bhatti, although he, he's pleading here a little bit that he didn't want to be stopped. You've got the, you've got the corner in it as well, but look, this is a dangerous sport and, and he was never winning the fight. It was very, very one-sided. What is the point in him taking more punishment? Well, I, don't, I don't like to see that from the corner man. What the corner man's complaining here, that was absolutely the right decision. Yeah, well, you're watching these replays. They were remonstrating fighter and especially the corner man, Kuldeep Singh. They were remonstrating with the referee He's very disappointed and annoyed that it was stopped. He felt that he could have gone on, but I don't know. I mean, I've watched a lot of fights, goodness knows how many over the years, and I thought the referee got it right there. Carl. Absolutely right. And in and, and and an age where referees and judges are getting a lot of criticism, we have to give credit where it's due, and that was, that was the right call. Couldn't agree more. Well, from a positive side for Masood Abdullah, Afghani by birth, now a product of the Islington Amateur Club and four out of four in stoppages. Result will be confirmed in a moment. And the question now is going to be just how far he can go. Time will tell. And uh, Sandeep Singh Bhatti a little bit slow coming centre ring. Sali. at the time of one minute, 20 seconds in the sixth round. Your referee, Mark Lyson, calls a halt to this contest with the yellow corner in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO, Masood Supermass Abdullah! Well, we liked what we saw of this fella at ringside. Four wins out of four now, all stoppages. Time will tell, but tonight he was certainly OK.